you guys, I'm here with Jared. He has just won the overall men's Vulcan Games and for 2021. Awesome, awesome overall effort in all of the categories this year. Thank you, Jared, for competing. Um, you just got a My Zone 3 uh, heart rate monitor and t-shirt and he was just saying how he still feels in a little bit of shock. So um, tell me a bit about, you haven't competed in a, this competition before. Not really, no. And, and you won this one. Yeah, so shocking, so uh, amazing. Cool. And, what did the Vulcan Games really do for you? You mentioned it was good to see your, your scores from before and up to now. Just overall progression, um, you know, having a benchmark and, and beating it, you know, it feels good. Um, yeah, it's going to be better. Awesome. And so coming in, I noticed you, you can get a bit competitive, but not normally you're like the most happy-go-lucky guy. But it, it switched this, like I'm telling you, this guy on the road this year, um, it really switched to switching you. So um, how does that feel? It's fun. Yeah, awesome. It's great. Um, it's a bit of fun. Um, and mostly just determined to be yourself. But, you know, if you can beat others along the way that you work with, that's, that's even better. <laughs> totally worth it. Full bragging rights at Vulcan now. Congratulations, you did so so well. We're looking forward to seeing how you do in the next games. But I know personally from training with Jared, he did not expect this. He's got some amazing competitors in the men's with um, Stefano holding an over 15 minute plank. I mean, these guys are racing bikes every weekend. Tim Getty's doing over 70 push ups and all these different things. But overall, Jared won the most events and or came second and third or in the most events. So this is your overall athlete for the Vulcan Games this year in the Mets. Congratulations. Thank you. And anything you want to say to the guys who are a bit nervous trying the Vulcan Games? Try it, get into it, just start somewhere. At least you know where you're at. I mean, you might even surprise yourself. You perfect. Thanks guys, have a great night. Hey you guys, we are live with our newest Overall Vulcan Games Women's Champion. And we've also got our Vulcan Games Fit Over 50 Champion as well. Um, but we're 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 here awarding our overall champion today. So our overall champions get our grand prize of a MyZone belt worth over $250. It's the best heart rate monitor on the market today. So it really gives you that back-end analysis of how hard you're going and you get points when you really push yourself in, into different areas and zones and it allows us as coaches to see how Zoe's going as well. So not that she has been cheating at all as her results have shown. But the big reason I wanted to do a quick interview with Zoe was one, so you guys can see the cool prizes that you guys get if you do compete, new Vulcan Games t-shirts as well, and two, Zoe is, was probably like you in what you're thinking. She had never gone into a fitness challenge before going into the Vulcan Games, was very trepidatious at first to enter the Vulcan Games, and now has come out on top overall against all the other women. So I just wanted to hear about Zoe's experience. So what, um, what really motivated you to, to go as hard as you did in the Games and to push through you know, that barrier of Am I good enough to compete in a, in a fitness challenge? I think the most beneficial part of all is that is um, building back my confidence and understanding that it would take a little bit of first of all effort <laughs> to yeah. never turn up into the gym. That's the hardest part, absolutely. And once you get over that hurdle and you keep coming and you start realizing that not only are you seeing improvements in yourself, but you actually start seeing improvements with people that you communicate with and connect with here at the gym and just like the difference in everything I'm doing in my life. It's making a massive like improvement to my health, to my eating habits, to my sleep patterns, everything. Goosebumps. Yeah. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. And out of the games, I know that you won overall, so I mean, Zoe did amazing in all of the events. Was there a particular event this year that you really wanted to do well in in the games? Um, to be honest, 
I'm just out there to just give it my best. That's all I'm aiming for. But I guess the ski is something that... <laughs> we heard about the ski erg. <laughs> Bill's in the background here. We heard you were getting it. You're all over in the corner over there and absolutely smashed it. So you beat your time by um, oh, 10 seconds yep. from just six months ago. Yes. So absolutely hate it, <laughs> to be honest. Um, so it's a massive achievement on my part that I just went in there and just gave it a shot and tried my best and that's all you can ever really do. Absolutely and uh, over five minute plank which you also thought would never be done. Yeah. Um, we're still working on the pull-ups. We're going to get to the pull-ups as well so there's always room for improvement. She'll be coming back for sure next year looking to just I mean, as you said earlier, uh, just discussing with your partner, Jared, who also did very, very well in the games, um, how you like to see how you've done compared to last time and that that was one of the big things the games has shown you. Yeah, that was one thing that when we were leaving on Thursday on our last session, um, just the difference between how we were six months ago to how we are now um, and just focusing on ourselves in that in itself is just a massive, like, compared to even when we first started at the gym probably what nearly 12 months ago so and I've never been a gym person at all so it seems like a decade ago and it's only been that short period of time yeah thank you so much for your time Zoe I know you've got lots to do today and a great session congratulations <laughs> so so excited for you thanks guys and try out the games it's for anybody just so that you can see it, you know how well you've done you don't have to be a winner like Zoe over here has been um, but if you do get the chance to compete you'll absolutely love it thanks guys